Hi, welcome. Uh, I did uh, share Proverbs uh, chapter 4, and now I want to share the cross-references that go along with it, now that I've finally been able to put it through. It's, uh, there's a lot of truth in these cross-references, and uh, that's why it's taken me probably 12 attempts to actually finally get these cross-references in. I've uh, been under so much attack and so much uh, duress at trying to get this done. So I hope that you actually enjoy uh, enjoy this video and this teaching uh, from the cross references. Uh, first, first cross references uh, is as you can see here, Secret of Yahweh, the Scroll of Oshinoko, eighty eight one to eighteen. He sent still many other sheep, including his son, to these sheep to testify to them and to lament over them. Afterwards, I saw them abandon the house of their sovereign of Bethel and his tower earring in everything and their eyes were closed i saw that the sovereign the sheep make a great slaughter with them until the sheep provoked the slaughter and betrayed his post he abandoned them in the power of the lions and the tigers of the wolves and the hyenas of the foxes and all the wild beasts or ashura bevel greece ashura bevel greece yeah uh, verse 91, which began to tear the sheep in pieces. I saw them forsake his house and his tower and turn them over to the lions, for them to break them in pieces and devour them. I began to cry out with all my might and to call the sovereign of the sheep and made him see that the sheep were being devoured by all the wild beasts. But he remained mute, and when he saw them, he was um, gladdened to see that they were devoured, swallowed up and carried off and abandoned them to become pasture for the beasts. He summoned 70 pastors and delegated these sheep to them so they would take them to graze. Um, Mikiyahu 3.15, Lucker 10, 1 to 16, and Glad Tidings 21, 15, 17. Verse 95, And he said to the pastors and to their accomplices, Let each of you henceforth take the sheep to graze, and whatsoever I command you, do I will deliver them to you duly counted. Verse 96, And I tell you which must be destroyed of these, uh, destroyed and these, Make them perish, and he delivered those sheep to them. Then he called to another and said, Observe and register everything that the pastors do to, the, to these sheep, since they destroy more than those which I have commanded. Zechariahu 11, uh, Ezekiel 34, 1 to 10, verse 98. Every excess and slaying that shall be committed by the pastors, register it. How many they destroy in accordance with my command, and how in accordance with their own whim. Verse 99. Put on the account of each pastor the destruction that he inflicts. Later read the result before me, how many they have destroyed, and how many I delivered to them for destruction, so that this may be a testimony against them to know every action of the pastors, that I may evaluate them, and that I may see what they do and if they hold or not to what I have commanded them. Verse 100 However, they must not learn of this. You must not tell it to them, nor should you warn them. Instead only an an annotate every dest um, destruction which the pastors commit, one by one and at the moment, and exhibit all this before me. I saw those I saw when those pastors pastured in his time, then they began to kill and destroy more sheep than they were offered. Verse 101. And they delivered these sheep to the hands of the lions of pagan Rome. The lions and the tigers devoured a great part of these sheep and the boars. Ephraim, or Esau, 88.19, um, ate beside them. They burned that tower and demolished that house. Bethel and Matthew, uh, Matthew 23, 38 AD, 70 Titus. 102, um, verse 102. I was extremely grieved for, the, for that tower because the house of the sheep was demolished. And then I could see 
whether the, those sheep entered into that house. The pastors and their accomplices, or Roman apostate, universal bishop, or the popes, delivered those sheep, Jerusalem, to all the wild beasts, um, Islam, that they might devour them, but each of them had received a determined number, and it was written for each one of them by the other one, Eliyahu, in a scroll how many of them they had destroyed. Each pastor killed and destroyed more than were prescribed, and I began to weep and lament on account of these sheep. Then in the vision I observed the one who wrote Eliyahu, 89.21, how he wrote down each one that was destroyed by the pastors day after day, and he carried it and exhibited it all, all of his scroll and showed the sovereign of the sheep all that which they had done. And all those that had delivered up to destruction, and the scroll was read before the sovereign of the sheep. And he took the scroll in his hand, read it, sealed it, and ar archived it. After this I saw that the pastors were taking them to pasture for twelve hours. And look, three of these sheep returned, arrived, entered, and began building all that had been demolished of that house. But the wild boars, the pal Palestinians, the Muslims, and the Arabs hindered them, and they did not prevail. Afterwards they began to build again as before and raised up that tower, which was called a lofty tower. And they began again to place a table before the tower, but all the bread that they had was contaminated and impure. Concerning all of this, the eyes of the sheep were blinded and did not see, and their pastors likewise did not. So he delivered them up for a greater destruction of the great persecution, the fourth seal, to their pastors who trod the sheep underfoot and devoured them. The sovereign of the sheep kept the sovereign of the sheep kept himself indifferent until all the sheep were dispersed throughout the field, and they, the Yehufram, mixed with them, the Christians, and they did not save them from the hands of the beasts. He who had written the scroll, or Eliyahu, bought it, showed it, and read it before the sovereign of the sheep, implored and supplicated on behalf of them, and showed him every act of the pastor, pastors, and gave testimony before him against the pastors. Then taking the scroll, he deposited it with him and departed. Helel takes down the cedar, um, also reference to Daniel 11.21. Zechariahu 11.1 Open, O whiteness, Levome, your doors, so the fire may consume your cedars, or the sixth seal. Halal, foolish boaster, or daystar, luminary orb, Shinoka 71.45-46, Yashahahu 14.12 is within the top one, because the cedars shall have fallen of British monarchy, the house of Israel, of which the majesty ones, they shall have been devastated. Well ye, O oaks of Bashan, are fruitful, because the fortified wooden height shall have been taken down. The sound of the wailing of the passers, because their esteem shall have been ruined, is the sound of the roaring of the manned lions, because, maned, sorry, roaring of the maned lions, because the Exaltation of the descender, or Satan, shall have been devastated. Yash Yashushua, uh, Yahushua sent on his first advent. Thus has said Yahweh to my mighty ones, Pass to the flock of the slaughter who forgot his name. While the ones acquiring them, while the ones acquiring them will slay them, but they will not be held guilty. And one selling them off, they will say, Blessed is Yahweh, say I have become rich, but their passes, they will not have pity on them, because I shall no show sorry, I shall no longer have pity on the inhabitants of the lands, declares Yahweh. So I look, am I the one causing humanity to be secured? 
each one into the hand of his associate and into the hand of his king. And they shall beat up the land, but I will not rescue you from their hand. First Advent Slaughter Flock Divorced So pastor the flocks of the slaughter, particularly for the favoured ones of the flock. And I took from myself two staffs, to one I called Pleasant Disposition, or Nuam, and to the other I called Bindings, or Shovlim. Shovlim? Shovlim? Um, then I pastured the flock. But I shall have caused three of the pastors, or Yahushua, or Yufa, and Ke Yahushua, Yahufa, and Kef, to be cut off during the same month. So my life and the flesh will have been short among them, while indeed their selves and the flesh they made selfish gain against me. So I said, I will not tend you, the one dying. Let her idle, I let her die, and the one being cut off, let her be cut off. And the ones remaining, let them ingest the glad tidings of her pastors, of the foolish pastors. Um, many verses there. Uh, 11, 15 to 17, 1 Moshe, 49, 10, Yeshua, 27, 10 to 11, Mika, Yahoo, 5, 3, Mata, Yahoo, 23, 37 to 38. Then I took my staff, pleasant division, now uh, pleasant disposition, the Naom, Naom, and I split it in two to revoke my covenant, which I cut with all the peoples. So it was revoked on that day when the favoured ones of the flock, which were watching, for may recognize thus that he is the word of Yahweh, our Yahushua. Then I said to them, If it would be good in your eyes, set my wages, but if it wouldn't be, leave it undone. So they weighed out my wages, thirty weights or shekels of silver. Then Yahweh said to me, Oh, Yahushua caused to be flung away the esteem of the value which had been appraised, from being with them to the potter. So I procured the thirty weights of the shekels of the silver, the esteem of the praise of whom they estimated the value from the sons of Israel, and I provided it to them for the lot of the potter, according to how Yahweh directed me. Then I split in two my second staff, or bindings, the shov the shovlim or tribal spiritual ties, to revoke the brotherhood between Yehufa and Yisrael. The strong man, the fellow citizen, the hired hand, 13.7 and Yakahan and 10.12-13. And, Yah and Yahweh said to me again, procure yourself the equipment, or oh, same two staffs for my foolish, or oh, eel, pastor. Because look, I am the one causing the stand a pastor against the land of the ones being cut off, Yehufa, who will not call to the account for the shaking, he will not seek to find why, and the ones being broke will not cure. The one standing up he will not support, but the meat of the fattened one he will eat, and their hoofs he will tear off. How are we to the ones not trending, uh, not tending the useless ones? Of Israel and the ones not um, disregarding the ones not of the flock or Yehufa, the drought is because from Israel is not sowing arm of the sun, Yehufa, and because from Israel is of not right vision source or the eye of the sun in favor of the not sowing arm of the sun, Israel, it should surely wither dry and not be. F be in favour of the sun after the vision source of the eye is not towards the right or the Israel shall surely be blinded. Ezekiel 34, 1-31 Woe to the foolish pastors of Christianity! And the word of Yahweh was towards me, saying, Son of Aphim, predicate against the pastors of Israel or Christianity. Preach and say to them, to the pastors, Thus says my sovereign Yahweh, how to the pastors of Israel, Christianity, that they are pastoring themselves? Should they, the ones being pastored, or pastor the flock? Look, they are causing the milk 
and ye are clothing yourself in the wool, ye are slaughtering the fattened, ye are not pasturing the flock. Ye have not strengthened the tired, nor have you cured the sick, nor have you bandaged up the broken, nor have you brought back the banished one, nor have you searched for the strayed one, and your brute force and with severity have you subjugated them. So they were dispersed due to there being no pastor, and they became food for all the animals of the field. So they were dispersed. My sheep wandered among all of the mountains and upon every hill, and my flock was dispersed over all the face of the earth. Yet there is no one investigating, and yet there is no one asking for them back. Oh, it's still going good. Therefore, pastors, hear the word of Yahweh. As I live, declares my sovereign Yahweh, without question. Since my flock has become prey and my flock has become food for all the animals of the field, due to there being no pastor and my pastors not having inquired for my flock. Yet the pastors have been pasturing themselves and they did not pasture my flock. Day, day of Yahweh, judgment of the pastors, rescue for his people. Therefore, O pastors, hear the words of hear the word of Yahweh. Thus says my sovereign Yahweh, Look, I am against the pastors, and I will require my flock from their hand, and I shall put an end to their pasturing the flock, so the pastors may not pasture themselves any more. And I shall rescue my sheep from their mouth, and they shall not be food for them. Because thus says my sovereign Yahweh, Here I am, I am who shall inquire for my flock, and I shall look for them. Like the concern of a pastor for his flock on a day, he is in the midst of his scattered flock. Thus shall I look for my flock, and I shall rescue them from all of the places that they were dispersed to on the day of the Nabil, Nabula and the darkness. And I shall bring them out for the peoples, and I shall gather them together for the lands, and I shall bring them to their land, and I shall pass them on the mountains of Israel. By the right... Ravens and in all the settlements of the lords, uh, of the land, sorry. In a good pasture shall I pasture them, and on the mountains of the height of Israel shall be their abode. There they shall lie down in the good meadow, and they shall feed in the rich pasture of the mountains of Israel. I am who shall pasture my sheep, and I am who shall cause them to lie down, declares my sovereign Yahweh. I shall se seek to find the strayed one, and I shall bring back the banished one, and I shall bandage up the broken one, and I will strengthen the tired one. But I shall guard the fat one and the strong one, and feed them judic judiciously. Judiciously? Judiciously. Judiciously? I don't know. And ye are my flock, says my sovereign Yahweh. Look, I am discriminating between ones, one herd to another herd. For the rams and against the goats. Is it too little for ye that ye are grazing on the good pasture? So ye are trampled down the rest of your pastures with your feet, and that you are drinking the clarified water. So you are fouling the rest by st stamping with your feet. So my flock is grazing on what y your feet have trampled, and what they are drinking is what your feet have fouled by stamping. Therefore thus says my sovereign Yahweh to them, here am I, I, so I shall discriminate between the herd of the fat and between the herd of the lean. Since you shove with your side and with your shoulder, and you butt all of the weak ones with your horns until you have caused them to scatter to the outside, but I shall save my flock and they shall be for plunder, shall not be for plunder any more. So I shall discriminate between a herd for another herd. And I shall raise up over them one pastor, and he shall pastor them. My servant Doeth, he is who will pastor them, and he is who will be for them a pastor. And I am Yahweh, I shall be for them a mighty one, and my servant Doeth is an exalted one among them. I am Yahweh who has spoken. And I shall pact for them a covenant of shalom, peace, reconciliation, completeness, 
and I shall put an end to wicked animals from the land, so they may settle in the wilderness in safety, and they may sleep in the forests. And I shall settle them surrounding my mountain, and I shall give you the rain, the rain for all of blessings. And the tree of the field will be, will yield its fruit, and the land it shall yield her produce. And they shall be on the land in safety, and they shall acknowledge that I am Yahweh, when I am to break the bars of their yoke, so I shall rescue them from the hand of their enslavers. And they shall not be plunder any more for the heathen masses and the animal of the land. It shall not devour them, and they shall dwell in safety. And there shall be no one causing them to tremble. And I shall raise up for them a plantation for the name, so they shall not be consumed by famine any more in the land nor they shall bear any more the reproach of the heathen masses. So they shall recognize that I am Yahweh, their mighty ones, and with them and the house of Israel are my people, declares my sovereign Yahweh. And you are my flock, the flock of my pasture, human Aphim are ye. I am your mighty ones, declares my sovereign Yahweh. And knowledge is of his word will enter his kingdom in that day. That's 1620b uh, to 29. Uh, so we'll leave it at there for this one and I'll, um, I'll add this video to YouTube and then I'll add it into here and then we'll continue on with the rest of the uh, cross-references in another video uh, to make them short so you don't show all your data. So, um, yeah, thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, there's another one to come, uh, part two. So until then, shalom and uh, peace be with you. Uh, bye.